Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here, and today I've got some more brand new Anthem gameplay to share with you. This is a new mission that you haven't seen before called Preventative Precautions. In the grand scheme of things, it comes a little bit after Lost Arcanist, so it is still early on in the game, but it is different to the mission that I uploaded on Monday last week. So if you guys haven't seen that, you can of course check that out, link down below. But if you did watch that and you want some more, then this is where you want to be. However, just before that, if you guys haven't entered our giveaway, then don't forget to click the link in the description box down below. We are giving away another Super Smash Bros. Nintendo Switch, so if you want to win that, then you know what to do. Now, very quickly, just to give you guys some context as to what you're seeing again, I will let you watch the rest of this gameplay without me speaking over the top. But this mission, the main focus is to go and search for missing Arcanist machinery, and it starts off outside, so you'll have some familiar exterior environments. We'll fight against some Scar, and then later on you work inside, into a cave system and then we'll encounter some of the scorpion type enemies as well. I'm playing as Colossus in this one. Some of you guys said in the last video that while it was cool to see different perspectives, Storm, Interceptor, Colossus, things like that, you did also want to see a complete run through without interruptions. So this one is just from my perspective. I've updated my color scheme because I have no idea what I was doing in my last video with my crazy color scheme. That was uh, not the shade of red I was going for, but either way, got the nice red and black now. And I'm also testing out a couple of different abilities. I'm using the Burst Mortar, which is a volley of smaller rockets. So instead of firing out the one single powerful rocket from your shoulder mounted cannon, you instead fire out a smaller volley of rockets. So it's good for attacking enemies in a larger area. And on my other option, I have the Venom Spitter. So this is an ability that you hold down, it sprays out Venom, and this applies the Venom debuff to enemies. So of course, once it's active, they then take tick damage. So, you know, damage over time. Now, bear in mind, with regards to abilities, this might not necessarily be the best synergy, but because we were playing the game organically, we basically had to use whatever we obtained. So whilst playing Lost Arcanist, whilst playing through free play, whilst playing through other missions, I was getting drops as I was going. And these were some of the best ones that I managed to pick up. So I figured I'd throw them on, use something different. The loadout you see in this video is different to the one you saw if you saw Monday's video. I've also got a DMR as my secondary weapon, partly just to sort of see the different feel. I mentioned in the last video that the Colossus, of course, being the only class that can use the heavy weapons, like the heavy machine gun, the grenade launcher, sometimes it feels a little bit odd switching to a weapon that isn't bespoke for your class so you kind of get a good look at sort of how that feels that being said there are still some really good regular weapons but it is one of those things that when you're playing colossus you kind of just want to be the heavy guy anyway for the time being that is pretty much it do keep in mind this is still alpha gameplay the build that we played at the end of last year was an older build so things will have you know changed updated and whatnot since then but either way it's a chance for you guys to see something brand new if you do enjoy this then a like would be super appreciated and of course keep it locked because i have got plenty more anthem coverage coming your way there's some more stuff I had a chance to record, which will be coming to you very, very soon. We've seen scars gather in an area not far from you. Check there. You got it. This is more scar activity than I've seen in a long time. I thought no one else had noticed. They're everywhere lately. People. Just gross. Monster things ruining stuff wherever they go. Tell me how you really feel, Brett. I see your team discovered where the scars have been gathering. Look around for that missing Arcanist machinery. And yeah, for whatever else they might have been working on. Watch out for scars while you're at it. Not much around except broken sheep or bits. No signs of arcanists. We'll keep looking. It's got to be around here somewhere.
you don't see anything arcanisty, they probably caught it hidden. So I should look for some kind of scar shed? Uh, sure. How about a scar cave instead of a scar shed? I can work with it. Well, there's one near you. Good place to hide stolen machinery. I'll find it and head in. I would hope so, yes. If the stockpile would be somewhere creepy like this. Any advice? Eliminate them and find it. Blunt but as the stolen darkness machinery is connected to a shaper relic. That's not good. Stop them before it goes all time.
You should silence it, probably. Grab those fragments and silence the relic. They normally just scavenge. I'll put it in my report, and, um, <clears throat> thank you, Freelancer. This was a huge help to the Sentinels and to the fort. Nice, working with you too. Yes, well, maybe we'll work together again sometime. Maybe. See you around, Bren. Thanks for much for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you want to grab some sweet Arax Gaming merch, you can head over to the Endgame store right now, that's linked down below, and you can pick up either the Arax Gaming festive jumper or sweater, and yes, we might be past Christmas, but it's an awesome jumper, so if you want to grab one, they are super limited, there were only 100 of them made, but there are still a few left, so you can pick those up if you want. Plus, we have the limited Yeet pin from 269's livestream. If you want to grab that, the awesome mascot, you get that as a pin and a sticker, so both of those are available to purchase if you guys want to pick them up. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to stay tuned, don't forget to stay subscribed, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads, and you can check out some of the more recent videos linked right here.